the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation? <sighs> it's First fortunate one! I can make it. My divination results predicted you making a fool of yourself. Oh, yeah. The show so is about shy. to start. Make sure you remember these words. You wouldn't want to tarnish the Cian Joe's reputation now, yeah, would wake you? wake up, fat boy. N no, Master Diviner. After me. Fulgrant Leap. Fulgrant Leap. Epical Spectrum. Epical Spectrum. Cool. Orum Alley's Hustle and Bustle. Orum Alley's Hustle and Bustle. Where's Albert? The Swarm Disaster. The Swarm Disaster. Where's my boy? Audience. Audience. Not bad. Make sure you recite them a few more times. Amazing. Master Diviner? What is it now? How do you say this one? What? <sighs> say what? High Cloud Quintet. He looks good, boys. He looks good. We honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skips and send them out to sail between the stars. What is going shine on? brightly among them. For Before Don Hong? Leave, please make time to recuperate. Or Ting Yun. Surely not Ting Yun. I must attend to some cloud night matters. Farewell for now. No way! <laughs> All things in this world have their laws. If they show her animation, y'all are gonna lose it. You oh know that I'm God. a descendant of the Law Fu Vidyatara. You witnessed oh my, my God. secret strength, as March would call it. Oh my God. As you can see, we added a few things to this simulated universe. Hey, Robo Guy! So I thinks this is a big achievement. We call New Sim Uni! Simulated universe. The New Sim Uni! Oh, shit, dude! That's a big bug! Bro, Lynx is so cute, man. God damn, brother. First code already going out? Jesus Christ. The Ooh, Albert! Whether or not your world has a day-night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> you know the rest. Welcome yep. to the version 1.3 Celestial Eyes Above Mortal Ruins special program. Amazing. As always, your good buddy Albert's here to bring you all the latest intel on the upcoming version. Today, our three special guests are... Hi, everyone. I'm Sarah Wiedenheft, and I voice Fu Xuan. What's up, guys? I'm Anjali Kunipanini, and I voice Su Shang. Hey, Trailblazers. I'm Nicholas Leung, and I voice Dan Hung. Welcome, and that's the same welcome, BA for regular Don Hong, right? Welcome again. <laughs> I gotta say, that trailer was loaded with details on the new version. <laughs> so, Good. anything stand out for you? Well, I'm always excited for story updates, but that last segment caught my eye too. The swarm disaster? Was that it? It looked pretty intense. I know. Did her to upgrade the simulated universe again? I wonder how big of a My change the simulated update is. Are tingling. <laughs> 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 the simulated universe will be getting some significant updates in version one. Significant? But that's for later in the program. It's First, huge. Let's take a look at the new characters joining the war. First on the list, and finally revealing his true power. Yup. We have Don Hung, Imbibitor Lune. You mean Imbibitor. Show the animation, Tommy. Show them. These things look nuts. I have yet to see his alt animation. Oh my god, is that his talent? Oh my god! Holy shit! What the f Oh, okay. So March wasn't bluffing. Don Hong does have secret strength. He's Destro but too? Why would he suddenly reveal it after hiding it for so long? Um, 
let's not forget he did get impaled. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think if he'd kept it under wraps any longer, he Bro, might it's have so had cool. uh, staying alive. <laughs> you know, desperate times, desperate measures. It's okay, so it sick. makes sense, but why the secrecy up till then? Well, to answer that question, we gotta talk about Don Hung's previous incarnation. Don Fung, a member of the High Cloud Quintet. Oh. That's right. That's right. I'm sure Trailblazers will have noticed that certain characters in the story have been referring to Don Hung as Imbibitor Lune. Yeah. But Imbibitor Lune is actually a title handed down as part of the Law Fu Vidyadara High Elder Succession. The person they're referring to here isn't Don Hung. Don Fung? But Don Fung. Don Fung Not was March seventh. Fu Vidyadara March High Elder. 8th. He achieved great deeds for the Shenzhou. Yo, March about to get impaled in a different type of way. We're about to get March eighth, brother. Wait, but if Don Hung's still alive, then Don Fung's sin can't have been that unforgivable, right? Mm, I think someone pulled a few strings. <laughs> There's only one guy in the law of food who risked the Xianzhou's reputation like that. Jing Yuen. Mm. Is that what a little bird told you, Albert? Yeah, mid you are. <laughs> I never knew owls were so gossipy. Don't call him that! Jin Don't call my general that! This time. The head of the Shenzhou Vidyadara, the High Elder, possesses the power to transform into a dragon. Our general! The method of entrusting this power to the next head is a closely guarded oh, secret man. and the responsibility of each High Elder. Yep. We don't know the full story, but... Dan Feng misused this method and sparked a terrible calamity. As a result, the Vidyadara grew to hate Dan Feng, but executing him would have brought an end to the High Elder succession. They decided to use an exuviation charm, forcing him to reincarnate. Ooh. Which is why Dan Hung is alive and well today. The world of the Vidyadara is complicated. But why would Don Fong cause so much trouble? I suspect there are a few more secrets waiting for us down the line. Ah, the allure of the unknown. <laughs> but fear not, Trailblazers. A banquet of delicious secrets awaits you. Now, let's take a look at how secret strength Don Hung handles himself on the battlefield. <laughs> As an imaginary it's type so character sick. following the path of destruction, Don Bro, Hung and Vibrator so Lune's clean. specialty is consuming multiple skill points to trigger an array of powerful abilities. And now how is that good? Tapping the skill button enhances the effects of Vibrator right. Lune's basic attack, right. Beneficent Lotus, up to three times That's in succession. That's a lot of skill Depending points. Depending on the number of enhancements, that is a Beneficent lot of skill Lotus points. becomes Transcendent, Divine Spear, and Fulgurant Leap, respectively. Right. Hits per action and damage dealt increase with each enhancement. Additionally, single mm -hmm. target damage is replaced with multiple target damage in both Divine Spear and Fulgurant Leap. Right. In so how does he Lune's circumvent talent? using that much skill points? Amplifies the damage he deals as the number of hits per action in the current turn increases. Sounds right. like skill point management is going to be pretty important for Imbibitor Lune's allies. Yeah. Oh, I'll hold that thought. When using his ultimate, Imbibitor Lune deals imaginary damage to a single target and adjacent enemies, right. while also receiving a set amount of Squama Sacrosancta. What is that? Squama Sacrosancta can be used to offset Imbibitor Lune's skill point consumption. What? Yeah, secret strength Don Hung is kind of a one-man band. Oh, that's not all. <laughs> what? Lune's technique, Heaven Quelling Prisma Dragon, allows him to enter a leaping dragon state for a set time. In this state, using an attack causes Imbibitor Lune to lunge forwards a set distance and strike all enemies he comes into contact Holy with. Holy shit! Entering battle in this way allows Imbibitor Lune to acquire a set amount of Squama Sacrosancta. And lo, such is the frightful power of the High Elder. <laughs> Bro, he gets his own skill points? Now that we've introduced secret strength, Don Hung, let's move on to an old friend of ours. The Master Diviner, Lady Fushuan. Her animations are crazy, chat. They are crazy. The best in the best, the best in Hawkeye that you've ever seen. Just wait. Dude. Dude, 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 it's so cool! <laughs> oh, 
Her first encounter with the Trailblazers was yep. pretty impressive. Yep. From high above, amid a hail of bullets, it's and so words. cool. Your every move has been foreseen by the Omnisia. She's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you gotta admit, her bullet deflection game. Guys, you're looking is at the ship. Point. I, know. I wonder how'd she fare against ooh, a star knot, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't see her swatting one of those out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Fu Xuan might have something to say about that. Oh, okay. Mm. Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating between the Earth and It is going to be very hard to skip Fu Xuan from it. What do we have In to fear? In Lune, I can Let skip. Let us counter this menace directly Fu with the might of the Sienjo. Mm. Oh, Su Shang translation. It's going to be sick. Hexagrams, and I still do think this. In Lune is going to be OP. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think the divination but I don't think I need benefit him. from having Su Shang as a translator. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The Omnisia on Fu Xuan's forehead is a mysterious instrument that allows her to calculate her every move in advance. However, the immortal bodies of the Xianzhou natives exhibit adverse reactions to external augmentation. Hmm. While the Omnisia may grant her incredible computational abilities, it also causes her pain and exhaustion. Jesus. Uh, well, with great power... Uh... You know the rest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that explains Fu Xuan's reliance on bubble tea then, huh? I heard she drinks like 10 cups of Immortal's Delight a day. Bro, uh, bubble tea hey, makes me shit my brains out, like bro. That gossip to me. What if Immortal's Delight is just heckin' delicious? <laughs> <laughs> I suspect it is. Yo, Fu Xuan, show sure the goddamn abilities. Running the divination show commission and divining abilities. the fortunes of the Xianzhou, it's an exhausting gig. All right, Anjali's right. No more bubble tea gossip. So the right, damn the melodies. How about I treat everyone to ten cups of Omoto's delight after the show? <gasps> yes. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> if every Let's player in that. Honkai isn't it's DM'd the, or DM the Immortal the Tea, I'm gonna be pissed. Diviner showcases her abilities on the battlefield. Fushuen is a quantified character, following the path of preservation. But where other Path of Preservation characters mainly use yep. shields for defense, yep. Fu Xuan takes a different road. Yep. Precisely. After using her skill, Fu Xuan activates the Matrix of Prescience, which lasts for a set oh number God. of turns. This allows Fu Xuan to absorb some of that damage for her allies. Oh. That is so if the prescience is active, it grants the knowledge effect to the entire team, oh my increasing God. characters' max HP and crit rate. Fu Xuan's talent and offers crit? a variety of effects. Firstly, Fu Xuan can provide a permanent misfortune avoidance state, reducing the damage taken by the entire team. Secondly, when Fu Xuan's HP drops below a set percentage, she recovers a set percentage of HP. POV, you're Fu Xuan's enemy. Why are my attacks healing her? What the <laughs> f***? That That's looks so all. cool! Fu Xuan's ultimate deals quantum damage to all enemies, but it also increases the frequency of her talent's HP restoration effect. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, Fu Xuan's technique can grant a barrier for the whole team that lasts for a set duration. During exploration, the barrier blocks all enemy attacks. What? Thereby preventing That's battles so that would otherwise cool. have triggered in this way. Her technique also activates the Matrix of Prescience automatically at the start of the next battle. That's, That's a so cool! Device. Reliable and determined. <laughs> no wonder she's got her sights set on the general ship. See, her style is very different to Jing Yuan's. But being a defensive backbone for her team is equally respectable. <laughs> and you won't find her guarding or playing chess on the job either. Mm. Yeah, maybe you <laughs> are. I didn't say it. <laughs> We're moving swiftly on to our final character. It's time we introduced a young girl from Bellaba, Lynx Landau. <gasps> Free to play savior coming up. My favorite song! This is the four-star budget, by the way, guys. Where's Pom Pom? Is her name ring a bell? Yeah. <laughs> you got it. She's the she younger is sister of Serval and Japard Landau. You know, is it just me? That's or right. She is the younger the sister. Taking tips from Lynx. She's the only person I've seen who's dressed for the Eternal <laughs> Freeze. Like, are the majority of Bellabogians frost resistant or something? <laughs> <laughs> I think those Geomarrow heaters keep the temperature relatively comfortable within the confines of the city. Oh, 
Oh, so Lynx's winter gear is for venturing outside the city, right? Mm -hmm. You got it. Mm. Clara's ass walking with snow with her bare feet. The, the f are they all about? All records of Yorilo Six's vibrant past, the beautiful auroras described by her teachers, the heroic tales of the Landau family. <laughs> that is Model all Quantum Unlocked, though, boys. To the world beyond the city walls, where the Bellabogians call the Snow Plains. Compared with her sister's enthusiasm and her brother's seriousness, Lynx is somewhat introverted and comfortable with solitude. She often ventures out alone into the perilous snow plains, which has allowed her to hone her wilderness Silver Wolf and Joya skills. should be busting right now, man. Oh, she's going to be the world's smallest survival expert. I know. What do you Now, she may be small, but she packs a punch. <laughs> Let's dive right in and see just how powerful this snow plane's explore yeah, really is. Apparently, she's <laughs> broken. Lynx is a quantum type character following the path of abundance, who yep. provides a variety of healing for her team. Yep. Her skill can restore HP to a single ally yep. and grant them survival response for a set number of turns, which does boosting their max HP. Very good. If an ally with survival response good follows with the paths of destruction or preservation, yep. the likelihood of them being targeted by enemy attacks increases. Amazing, oh. smart AI. Uh, increased enemy aggression? Guess they're not fans of whatever's in that tin. <laughs> Uh, uh, can't say that I blame them. <laughs> oh, my, 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 that looks like fermented herring. Who's my favorite? You guys want to try some? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm good. No. Mm -hmm. uh, can you forget about the contents of the tin? <laughs> this is a useful ability. I'll say this. Directing <laughs> enemy aggression towards characters who can take a hit is kind of genius. It's very good. It's Does very, she very, have very good. any edible tricks up her sleeve? Uh, this one looks safe for consumption. Lynx's ultimate restores yeah. health too and dispels one debuff from each ally. <laughs> AOE <laughs> cleanse! <laughs> AOE <laughs> cleanse on all. That's about a hard pill to swallow, eh? That is <laughs> broken. Yeah. No? Yeah, that is ridiculous. She even fits it in her backpack. <sighs> Sometimes big things come in small packages. You know, I forgot to mention Lynx's talent. It can grant a continuous healing that effect is to targets so of her damn skill good. And ultimate for a set number of turns. This effect will further restore a set amount of HP to characters with survival response. Similarly, her technique can also She's grant so a continuous healing effect for a Bro, set Natasha number of turns. Natasha and Bailu are but higher team. Talk about being a reliable healer. <laughs> Grabbing one copy of her is going to be tantamount for free we to play. We can all breathe a little easier with her on the team. Yep. So well, damn good. Well, that concludes our new character introductions. Yep. Next Amazing. Up, good shit. Take a look at the brand new five-star light cones coming to the warp in Nobody version 1.3. Nobody cares. Not Paul. Don't pull. Don't pull. How about Do not pull. Do, nobody pull. Light cone. Do not pull on light cones. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything brighter than the sun? Uh, if there is, we should tell Imbibiter Lune about it. Someone needs some vitamin D. Hey, oh, yeah. come on. What do you He's mean by that? Pretty good for a man suspended in chains. Why is he in chains? Now, on to a path of preservation life. What the f Poor girl. Bro, Everything what is going on? In instant. Thrown suddenly into an endless reliance on bubble tea. Oh! oh uh, speaking of bubble tea, <laughs> Albert, uh, any chance we can uh, fast track that? Oh! Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, no. During the first phase of what was that shit on her face? Character warp. Epical Spectrum. Mid can obtain the limited five-star character Don Mid. Hung Mid and Bibiter Lune. Don't need it. Pass. And skip on it. In the corresponding light going event warp, the drop rate of the five-star light Easy skip. cone brighter than the sun Easy skip. Will be Easy boosted. skip. During Easy the skip. second phase of version 1.3, Lakes. character warp oh, why will soon for known oh. for total. Trailblazers can obtain the limited five-star character... Not to mention the four-star character Lynx, who will also be joining the warp. Yes! During I will be pulling light for one warp, copy of Lynx. The drop rate of the five-star light cone, she already shut her eyes, will be boosted. <laughs> and that's all she wrote on light cones and warps. I need Lynx so bad, bro. Don't leave just that now. More exciting updates are right around the corner. Yep. Yep. Another free code, baby. 200 free jades. Imagine if we're lengthening Fushuan instead. That would be 
incredible. Okay, we we are we are getting Welcome through Schwan. We, no, we are getting Let's pick up where we left off. In the preceding story, and thanks to yep. the collaborative efforts of Jing Yuan and Don Hung, yep. Fantilia was banished and the Ambrosial Arbor crisis was resolved. And yet, as the dust settles, easing the fears of the citizenry becomes a new priority. Amazing. Rightly so. Amazing. Helping people get back to their old lives is a big part of rebuilding. And Wait, this, is this a new main story quest? Responding to a disaster is trickier than preventing This, this is a new main story? Mm -hmm. In version 1.3, the Trailblaze mission Obsequies performed a long road ahead. We'll reveal a glimpse of the Xianzhou's recovery efforts. We'll also be seeing the likes of four new what the missions. Let's the go! Home, I bet March is going to be adorable. Recall. Marge's story is going to be adorable. Oh, f yeah. In the Dragon Returns That's home, big! We find Don Hung in the turbulent wake of the Ambrosial yep. Arbor Crisis. He must face up to his past life and meet with the current Vidyadara High Elder, Lady Bai Lu. Meanwhile, in Total Recall, March 7th makes a big decision. Yep. Having witnessed the wonders of the Matrix of Prescience Ultima, she decides to ask Fu Xuan for the Matrix's help in rediscovering her past. Farther than the Snow Plains focuses on the youngest member of the Landau family. Lynx returns from an expedition with something troubling her, and her siblings, Serval and Japard, are at a loss to help. They decide to seek the assistance of none other than the Trailblazer. And last Hog? but not least, we get to see Gepard again? Wildfire member and Fight Club reigning champion yep. Luca has returned to Boulder Town. He wastes no My time in Trailblazer and Zila to help Mom, him in Mom. completing Zila? a special bout of training. Oh, yes, Ooh, dude! Nice cinematic read there, Look at this save my girl! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Those names are so intriguing. I feel like these missions will mm. answer a lot of questions. Like, why is Bailu the current Vidyadra High Elder? Good and is March shit. 7th truly as many people suspect? <laughs> this is hardly the domain of unverified rumors. Good Oz shit. Oz is a serious program. Serious? <laughs> More like Bubble Tea Gossip Central. Uh, oh, speaking of Bubble Tea, yeah. Uh, uh, so where's Tim Yun's I'll story, wait. guys? <laughs> In our next segment, we'll be talking about version one point. A free Sushang? Exalting sanctums are Amali. A free Sushang? and crowds, but has gradually fallen into obscurity over what the last millennium. What the? Give an eye. Oh, yo, new map pieces. too? And now. As the IPC is corporate interference what? upon the Lao Fu, the people sense danger and are striving to breathe new life into oh, old traits. Yeah. In the Orem Alley's hustle and bustle event, trailblazers are thrown right into the action with an opportunity to influence the Alley's ultimate fate. I didn't see uh, anything about this. <laughs> well, what do we need to do exactly? What well, shops of numerous sizes can be found in the newly reopened Aram Alley district? What does By it all mean? cargo shipments and planning logistics routes, trailblazers can accumulate funds. These funds can be used to progressively revamp the urban landscape of Aram Alley, what helping it return it to mean? its former glory. By achieving goals in this limited time event, players can earn self modeling resin, tracks of death. Stellar City Jade, Builder? And four star character Sushan. No. Oh! Follow but yeah, dude. Oramali will remain in the game as a permanent mode. We get to decorate the city. Awards such as the Oramali themed phone wallpaper. Oh my GM God! Drinks. What? That's something we Those haven't seen before. Those rewards That's are right. crazy. Phone wallpapers are a new feature being added to version 1.3. Trailblazers can browse and replace their wallpapers using the in-game mobile. That menu. is so oh, cute. So just give me Kafka's <laughs> big old it? titties. All right, folks. It's time to talk about a big update to the simulated universe. Yes, sir! Finally! I thought for a yes, moment you might sir! have accidentally left it out. <laughs> the cheek! How could I, your humble living servant, make you wait? <laughs> I mean, we're still waiting on those bubble teas, so I'm just saying. <laughs> but in any case. The update is the collaborative effort of yep. four genius minds. They call it Simulated Universe yep. the Swarm Disaster. Yep. They completed a broad spectrum of structural renovations purely Bro, to investigate. Bro, this update looks yeah. amazing. The Swarm Disaster. Holy shit. Sounds like it might have shit. something to do with the 
Mm, what is that Eon's name again? Taze something? Taser of Jay -Z. the Eon of Propagation. Jay -Z. Ah, that's the one. Interesting. Um, what motivated Herta and her team to research the Imperator Insectorum? Ooh, I'll tell you. <laughs> From the story so far, we've heard that the propagation. Dude, and was we get a artifact reroller. Swarm, which spread That's throughout huge. the universe. This eventually caught the attention of multiple eons who united to eradicate. Who, who is Ruan this May? This event involved more eons Who's than Ruan any May? other recorded event. Wait, Raiden right May, Ruan May? No way. Makes it an excellent research subject. No way, no oh, way, so no, way no way, no way. Mm-hmm. In order to delve into this complicated history, Herda and her team have developed They're various different? new okay. methods of exploration. Okay. In simulated universe, okay. the swarm disaster, the stage map sure. will appear in a format similar to a chessboard. Okay. Trailblazers will need to navigate through randomly generated domains and tackle a variety of challenges before making it to the deepest parts of the What I'm is that? These geniuses had more in mind than simply maneuvering around a grid. Right you are. What is that? To simulate the experiences of different path striders and resonate with the eons. A brilliant mind named Steven developed the audience die and communing device. What oh, the f die? Oh, come on, Albert. That's not a nice thing to say to the audience. It's getting like a Roguelike? Die as in singular for dice. Okay. And it has to do with the eons bestowing Holy random shit, gifts dude. upon path striders. This update is Before enormous. Before progressing each turn, use the commuting device to roll the audience die. This will generate special effects for the current turn. Uh -huh. These special effects might provide our team with powerful buffs or alter the chessboard in some way or even create further variables for subsequent actions. The chessboard and grids are superficial. The true intent of the geniuses is to delve into the mysteries of the eons. Each exploration will encompass three planes corresponding to Imperator and Sectorum's emergence, expansion, and demise. Trailblazers will encounter simulated historical events during these phases, and different responses will lead to different outcomes. But do these simulations really recreate the truth? The official response is that due to the many historical unknowns, all potential outcomes are valuable. The that data is helps us so infer the most probable truth. That looks and incredible. Mm, Madam Herta said, and I quote, You can't prove that the past wasn't like this, can you? <laughs> <laughs> How exceptional. Undeniably a genius. What the is that? <laughs> Madam Herda has also it's still developed going? a path space for the express purpose of enhancing the resonance between trailblazers. It's and still the going. As a trailblazer, every yo chat, everybody spam pong that way. People who have ads get jealous and sub can help you to obtain path energy, leading you closer to the eons. Hmm. And what can we expect when we get closer to the eons? Now, once you have sufficient path energy, you'll be able to unlock specific buffs and the chance to interact directly with the corresponding eon. Wh what is <laughs> thereby? What is going on in the swarm disaster? Huh. There's so okay, much so happening, I can't even tell what the that, f is that happening. This feels swarmish or disastery enough to me. Mm, say no more. <laughs> In the final domain of the third plane of each exploration, Trailblazers will encounter a brand new enemy, the Swarm True Sting. What the f is True that? Stings have the ability to divide and create more swarms. If not dealt with promptly, Ew, the entire bro. battlefield will eventually be overrun by the Swarm. So you need AOE. Sufficiently swarming, oh. suitably disaster -y? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, I don't think that's that'll funny. be a problem. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I think we'll upon be fine. clearing simulated universe, the swarm disaster, the brand new path of propagation will be unlocked within the simulated universe. Hey, what a I'm about to hit that bitch for 1.7k so goddamn hard. Right. And big updates need big rewards. I agree. Take note. I agree. Aside from Stella yep. Jade and yep. numerous other materials, the Swarm Disaster rewards include two self-modeling resins. Those things are rarer than rare. Are there really two up for grabs? Shoo! You better believe it. And I highly encourage Trailblazers to give it a go.
Next oh. up is the Space Station Task Force. There's event. still more? Organizing the Space Station is no small undertaking. <laughs> if we want to speed things up, we'll need to enlist the help of a task force with special permissions. Watson what has the all the assignments that require attention. Over to you, Trailblazers. <laughs> During the event, by assembling a team that meets the requirements of specific assignments, you'll be able to earn rewards such as stellar jade and character experience. Okay, that's mid. That's mid. <laughs> as the message makes clear, there will be requests and this assignments one, this every day. This one's whatever. It's almost impossible to finish them all. Version 1.3 will also see the return of the planar fissure and Free stuff, though. Free stuff, though. Events. During the respective events, successfully challenging the simulated universe and calyxes can earn you a set amount of double rewards. Amazing. Uh, at the same time, Amazing. version 1.3 will unlock two new stagnant shadow stages. For what? Shape of puppetry and shape of oh, abomination. Oh, Fushuan, Fushuan the and The former will drop suppressing edict. Ascension material required for Don Hong and yep. Viber yep. Lune. Yep. The latter will drop Nail of the Ape. Ascension Nails. material required for Fushuan. Whoa. And links? All that too? What about links? Oh, and I'm not done with you yet. What is Mission happening? Version 1.3 system updates are just as momentous. First off, after the version 1.3 update, yes, dude! Cap, I forgot! Be raised what? Go, dude! To 40. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> exactly. Holy the shit! The day. Once Trailblaze power maxes out, a percentage of the surplus is converted into reserved Trailblaze power. Ah, oh, so in other words, if you forget Holy to log on, you wasted much Trailblaze power. Mm -hmm. And here's something else. The 1.3 update will also bring changes to the friends and chat systems, which include being able to sort your friends. And Trailblazers not currently accepting new friend requests can choose to disable them in settings. As an hey, bye guys. You can now hey, send emojis no more. in chats. Oh, oh, at last, the pom pom and March seventh emojis. Oh, yeah. And nice fingers crossed for some authentic boomer material. <laughs> <laughs> Good and shit. of course, we have the crowd favorite, gift of Odyssey chicken rewards. Logging in for bro, seven days Genshin gets you ten anniversary warps. could it never, bro. Break. They the could never imagine this. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, Honkai Star Rail will also be a part of this year's Gamescom. Let's go! <laughs> what surprising updates await us? Watch this space trailblazers. Huge! Yeah. Huge! Nice. Let's Bro, roll out more publicity. More players. Huge. 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 Another one. This is crazy. Oh, all good this things is nuts. must come to an end. No. So it's today's special program. No, no, no. <laughs> We've no, covered no. quite a bit about the 1.3 update. No, no, no. Any no. thoughts or feelings from our guests? What are you most looking forward to? Man, so much to choose from, but for me, it's got to be the characters. <laughs> Don Hung and Bybiter Lune, Fu Xuan, and Lynx are all special in their own way. I Bro. just hope I get lucky with the warps. <laughs> <laughs> and as for me, I'm super excited about the simulated universe update. The new gameplay and story aspects sound Amazing. brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Uh, well, since you guys covered the obvious, I'll go for something a little different. Amazing I update. feel like this version's quality of life enhancements Amazing. are really good. I love the Trailblaze power cap increase and the new reserve Trailblaze power feature. Uh, they may sound minor, but I think they'll make a big difference to the experience. Oh, <laughs> totally. And I'm sure the gaming experience yep. will keep improving as yep. the updates keep rolling. Yep. <laughs> well, I agree. That's it for the Honkai Star Rail version 1.3 uh, special uh, pro. <laughs> as uh, always. Thanks again to all you Trailblazers Amazing. for tuning in. And may our paths cross again soon. Good Lord. Uh, Amazing. Catch you later. <laughs> See you next time. Uh, bubble team, bubble team. Bubble oh, team. Fun. In okay. Incredible. Yeah. We're going to have to re-watch that because there is way more there than I think people realized. Uh, I'm not done with that. We need to go back because I feel like I even missed some. W what did we get? New characters... A uh, new story quest, tons of new events, a city builder, a new map, free Sushang, more endgame. Like, 
I, I don't even remember how much shit we got. This might be, and I say this every patch, this might be the best patch Honkai Star Rails ever released. And another free temple. And a new path. Like, holy shit. What a update.